so yeah. Uh, Icy Mist. Yeah, she's really, really good. Uh, good game plan and tips for Pyro Mithra. Uh, don't engage with Pyro when you don't have to, and if you know how to get around ledge trapping, I think Pyro should never be able to kill you. Um, yeah, that character can't really kill you until they get you off, off ledge. And if you have, like, I don't know if it's just me, but I've been, like, kind of spamming the heck out of, like, focus here, and I'm just like, Pyro can't kill me right here. Um, with anything. I'll take a grab and I'll just rinse and repeat. But if you have a way to like get around ledge pressure, when Pyro is the only thing that's going to kill you at ledge, you'll not really die to anything too big because it's straight hit and neutral. Sam T riddles is seated to happen. Oh, I forgot Sam T is going to... And it's just like, you know, I can't focus on the game anymore, right? These externalities kind of just happen when they do. So don't really stress the part about it. I, we've all been there. It's a part of growing. Because like, you're going to accept that, you know, sometimes it's not your day, right? Uh, yeah, it happens. It's all good. Um, what do you look for when you're analyzing other Ryus or other pros? I have trouble analyzing sets and I don't know where to start. Uh, look at what they option covered. Um, look at look at what they uh, look at what they like to do. I think a lot of big things are sometimes you, you don't really know what people are thinking. They kind of just do it at random. Just watch what they like. Do they do certain options and certain toolkits? What gets them hit? What doesn't get them hit? Stuff like that is really really good. So just take a glance at it and see what happens. Um, well, welcome, JLo. Yeah. Uh, even small things, like for example, they're on the platform. What do they like to do when they get off the platform? You know, run off aerials, drop through aerials, double jump off the platform to the other one, right? Uh, if you beat a real player, I, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think the Orion rank is a good number to have. It's also like the first time I've ever been globally ranked on anything. So, you know, being globally ranked is pretty sick. Um, but PGR, I think, is way more credible anyway, so I'm kind of just laughing. But, oh, something new I want to start doing, if Chad is interested, is punishing Neutral Getup with Sour Border. Because I need to farm you in front of this. <laughs> yeah, so, here, hold on, let me show you something real quick. Um, we'll make his ledge options. Where is ledge options? Ledge, ledge, ledge. Ledge, delay ledge options, there we go. We're going to have him only do Neutral Getup. Maybe buffer shield. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, true, as in like sour fare. Yeah, no, I think this is like something I want to start doing more. Um, so, for example, um, this. There you go. So you'll send a player off the stage, right? And then you'll be shielding right here. You can react, and you can kill them for it. If you're already in the air, doing this, instead of just doing this, you might just get lucky and kill them. I mean, like, you'll get sweet fare for damage, or you'll get, like, this little hitbox. Right. I want to try and hit it. Maybe you don't want a fastball. Like that, you'll get that. And that can knock them up to so, like, that. Which is kind of insane. So you can kill people at like, stupid, like I'm talking like, like 50, right? Bobby time got gifted a sub? Oh dude, Yuri, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, you're actually insane just throwing money like this. But yeah, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Bobby's actually a good friend of mine. He's a university friend. So I'll give it up. Um, something like... Do you want to start punishing Nushka? So you just do that. You can, like, kill them for it. Like, like that. And they just die. They can't make it back. It's pretty much the equivalent of Terry Nair. Yeah. Um, however, it only lasts for like 7 frames. It should be in the air and like react. It's like, you know, like this. Like, if you're full hopping, Right? You have to be really good at the sweet spot. Like, you're pretty much jumping when they jump. It's like, there. I also want to kind of cover ledge jump too, right? Like, I, I did this accidentally in front of this. And I was like, huh, that's pretty good, right? More reward? I don't know about more reward, but you can probably kill somebody really early. Another thing is that this also beats, uh, you can hit up, you can hit all three of these. And now you can start doing something where you do this, and then... You gotta win that, right? 
and you can do you can get up attacks, right? If you shield get up attack, like I want to get up to that, please. Like that? You're actually hard to punish it with Sour Fair. If you, if you react to the jump. Okay. Oh god, it's so hard to time with it, like. But this is a good way to, like, hard punish it. Oh god, oh god. Ah, okay. It's all good. You see what I mean. You can hard punish it. Um, like. Just to show it and get the tip of it. You can do that. That just kills them, <laughs> which is actually insane. Um, but yeah, just like small optimization like that are really helpful. And I think that's what Ultimate's kind of becoming to do. So. Um, question. I learned to be perfect pivot in Kazuya. Will it actually be useful in a real match though? Ah! It's hard to say if a lot of things will or will or not be useful in matches. Um, you kind of just have to play and figure out what does and doesn't work. For example, this up air is really, really good in bracket. Because somebody's above you, they might just die, right? But everything else is kind of just whatever. Um, find out what works by testing against any and all opponents. And whatever does work, works. Whatever doesn't work, also doesn't work. Just test it out. It's all good. Not a problem. Um, so, yeah. Airlines off stage. Yeah, that's actually not a bad choice. Um, something else that you can do... What do you do if a Sephiroth spam side B? What options do you have? Um, okay. So that's a really good question. I think if they're kind of side spamming side B, you can either run into it, and if you get the close range, like, little snap hit, it's actually minus 10. So you can, like, down smash, forward, tilt, dash attack him, right? And you can make it negative on hit form. But you can also nair through and clank through the projectiles, because it's a very weak projectile, so you can, like, kind of jump in over it. I can actually show it, in, I can actually show it right now. Um, while I answer the next question, which is, uh, where do you think Ryu ranks among the FGC characters? I think, uh, he's the most tournament applicable, if that makes sense. I think Terry is good, but that disadvantage can be hot, rough, and Kazuya can be, like, a consistent killer. But, uh, Ryu kind of just has simple confirm, simple damage, he kind of focuses on the opponent very well, um, which is kind of cool. So, for example, to answer your question right over here, um... If you do have a mash side B, right? You could have him, for example, right here. Mash side special. I'll have him mash it in neutral. Yeah, like I think Ryu has some bad matchups, but nothing's ever easy. For example, oh, she had a Sephiroth kind of spamming at you right here. Um, oh, what? So if he's doing this, he's covering this whole space, right? You can kind of jump in there, and even if it gets with punish on the landing, you can just hit him for it. For example, so you can clank it out like this, like that, you can clank it out, which makes like this approach like really good, so you can hit him for it. Also though, if you like jump in get close, you can just hit him for it. It's minus 10, so for example, stuff like, that'll work, that'll work, oh, if he doesn't step back, of course, so... That'll work. Or even if you get really, really close, you can just like down tilt. Yeah. Or you can like, dash attack him, right? Uh, if, even if he charges, it's still minus 10, right? It just has more range, which means you can't do it from back over here. Because this is like the range you want to play at, right? So, honestly, just like jumping over it and then taking the damage even on hit is really, really good. You can kind of just like autopilot your buttons. Like, oh, I'll clank it out. Or, you know, bash tilts, right? You can kind of get all in his face for it. You can't really do much about it. Um, it's pretty sucky. Uh, it's definitely the one we can see the blue. Another thing you can do is like you can shield and like roll through it, and then even if you get hit by the roll, you get clipped, you can kind of just, oh, there you go, right? Like, shield, off, oh, there you go, right? So yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, no problem, happy to help. I fight Ned all the time. He actually got my last set, so I'm like really studying and looking to where I can do things better. Um, yeah. You can also add a shield here, really well. I take my shield, that's insane. Anyway, that seems model to come in. Okay. Let's probably do this. Nobody does this yet, but this is really, really good. You can just, um... That combos? 
so that's cool. What are some common setups you can do in your show to set up for opponent's options? Ooh, like like simple baits so you can look out for. I love doing like like jump forward, jump away, something like this, or maybe like jump in place just to see what they do, right? Or sometimes people are looking for visual cues, so if you give them like an aerial like this, Sephiroth mains do this a lot. They'll give you like a nair, so you think you can punish the nair because you're visually looking out for it, and then they'll punish it with like an aerial. Um, that's really really good. So. Yeah, stuff like that is really cool. Barely I feel bear is so good, yeah. It's good to like it's just tight though. Like it's like Like I just forgot one work. Kinda like your It is true though. It is true. That's really cool. Maybe like just just like projectiles. Like how do they react to a slow or a medium or a fast? Right? Like, it's something that I do a lot that not many other Ryus do. So they, I do this medium fireball. And that combo that hover, actually. So you can cover a lot of stuff. You do, like, slow, medium, back air, and frontal pressure. Right? That's really good. Um, let's see. So that's really cool. Um, fair is. Oh, dude. Forward air is one of the best aerials I think Shoto's needs to start using more. Because there are matchups where you're not going to be able to get this combo. Right? You won't be able to get that because they have more range. So just do this. Get that 28. I don't know. Get that 30. I don't know. Get the Sour Flare by accident and then do what Asimo did. You get like... Uh, I'm sorry. You get a... One... Oh, a sour Flare. Come on, let me line it like, like this. Maybe? Like that. You do like into him. So you get the Sour Flare and you go to a bear and you bounce back and then, you know, Fireball. And then you cover, you know. And... I kind of don't want to. And the reason I say that is because a lot of Ryu's matchups on paper are like supposed to be bad, but you can kind of just win them by being better than your opponent. Um, like there for example, like somebody like uh, Lucina you think is like really really bad, but like I'm not, I don't see a lot of value in talking about matchups anymore, so I'm kind of just down to like not talk about them. So, I think matchups are cool, but it doesn't. A, a minute spending grinding a matchup is a minute that could have been spent uh, playing the matchup, you know? Better than just talking about it. So, I don't know. I'm a fan of not really doing matchup cards, but maybe for funsies, it'd be kind of cool. If I ever want to go further. Yeah, shut up and learn. Literally, I don't care. I don't care about your matchup. Do you think Sephiroth beats uh, Pyramithra? Okay, cool. Now do it. <laughs> Winning the matchup is not based on what the tool for tool the character can do, it's based on. Otherwise, if it was, it would just be kind of stupid. You kind of just have to play the game and be better than your opponent, right? Take your opportunities that you can, otherwise, you lose. I'll give it up, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I think something that I've always wanted to do is like get on like tweet talks and stuff and talk about, you know, Smash. That's always something I'd love to do, but maybe sometime in the future. Footstool concepts with Ryu? Uh. Jeez. You can do like, uh. This. There's some funny stuff, right? I can show some funny stuff. I guess that's always kind of cool. Um, for example, like, for example, here. If you hit this air fireball right here, you can combo it into a footstool down, and then you can start just, like, forcing... I'll give it up, yeah. <laughs> you, you can just, like, force a tech chase situation. Kind of like... If they tech in place, you can kill them for it. Like that. <laughs> like, you can kind of like read them. Like, for example. Ooh. This is something that's really, really funny, and I've never gone for it. It doesn't lead to like true pressure, but like, you know, uh, you can kind of do some fun stuff, right? You can just go back in. But you can also just like. You can have the Shaku drag hits into like a sour fair. That's something I just know. Um, but something I want to just start doing more is like I'll do like a double nair like this percent. Like over right here. Footstool, car can't. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Hold on. Uh, maybe on tech away? Hold on, I'm curious.
Oh, really? Hold on. Actually, this is a cool option select, because you get to do both. You get to do like a, a fireball and a auto. Oh, that's not bad. Wait. Hold on. You know what? I'll go frame by frame. Make it easy. So he's doing tech in place. Let's have let's change his defensive options. One sec. Oh, whoops. So this. There you go. You may be a demon. I, it's a pretty stupid idea, I will say. But I'm gonna try it out. Might as well. Um, let's try maybe here. Have a mass shield, right? And we can do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Okay. So something like so he's taking in place here. All right. So I'm gonna mash down till it does connect. Technically on tech in place shield, it does connect. So he's mashing shield, and he, he's doing tech in place. Shield. Yeah. So that does connect technically. Now if we do. Ooh. If we do tech away, right? Let's do like, let's do tech backwards, right? Something like. Ooh. Let me just do, let me just do B hot. B hot. Ooh. Barely slow, I think. Barely too slow. That actually sucks. That's <laughs> so close. So if that doesn't reach, then how far does Karatatsu go? Because... Oops, we want the speedy counts. We want one, two... Oops, what we want? One, two, three, four? Is four the speedy one? Four is the speedy one. How far does that go on frame four? So we want like one, two, three... Whoops, sorry. One, two, three, four. What? One, two, at least on three, four, four. That's weird. One, two, three. Four. How do you do this in, in training mode? Because you want to test like one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. This is not the speedy test. I think it's on frame four you have to do it. It's hard to say, but I'm going to try it just in training mode to see if it works on hand. Something like. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. How minus are you on that? Let's just find out. Let's do, let's do the numbers. How, how minus are you? Because if you're not that minus, then hold on. Let's see. So you are. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you're plus 20 off this. And I think plus 20 at this range is enough for this, which is, if you count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You like if you walk for a little bit further, for a frame. Technically, you can hard read tech options. However, why would you ever do that off a slow fireball? And you can kind of just like either kill them or that, that, 
that, right? I'm gonna see if I can try and, like, hard read it. So Maybe. Uh, Slingshot Cyber Fair is okay, because, like, it's pretty much just, like, an, a better overshoot. Like, we're gonna, like, do that, we can do that. Which actually looks kind of cool, I will say. You're just, like, you're riding the momentum. I mean, like, I've experimented with it, and it's good, but I don't know how applicable it actually is, because you're throwing your body so it isn't, like, consistent as well. Okay. Let's just do that though. They're just better options, but it is an option. That's really fun to do. Though. Actually, it's actually more fun than doing this, because this is actually slower. That's faster than this. Actually, it's actually more fun than doing this, because this is actually slower than that. That's faster than this. So it's slightly faster, and it's like a little bit better, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if like, that's something you want to do. But... Yeah, well that's a link. Can't send those. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just testing some things out, Rip. Just wanted to be in training mode for a little bit. The comfort space. But you can do it. It's not hard. It's like, um... If you're forced to miss a tech and then do a get-up attack, I could probably do it right here. It's like, for example... Miss tech... So you miss the tech? Oh, wait, hold on. Whoops. Sorry. It's a... You want this to do get-up attack? You want the miss tech to be... No tech. So, something like this. I'll do it actually with like. Oh, fell off. <laughs> it's going okay, Riff. Just kind of chilling out, talking, doing my thing, having fun. Um, I'm not too sure. Thank you for the concept, well, for the research to push you any further. Yeah, 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 sure, for sure. This. This. You know what you do? If I do it from like here, I think he dies. So like. So like that. <laughs> Why did mine not spike? What? <laughs> All right, one more time. Go. <laughs> yeah, a little bit further. <laughs> All right, one more time. This will be the one. There you go. He's dead. There you go. <laughs> Pretty based, right? It's crazy because uh, at this percent, I just go for up airs and stuff, right? Um, if I if I had sour fair, I go for up airs. I go like up air frame chapter thing up till up till up air. Right? I, I just use the upper line up top, right? That's what I do usually. But him going for auto cancel bear. It's like a really good route, because I think he, it's true, I think, at certain percents on fast followers. And he was fighting a Roy, who's a fast follower, so it's just like the knowledge of the character is so prevalent, right? It's like, like this, that. and then you can kill him for it, right? So that was true. That's true. <laughs> Mine never spikes! <laughs> Sephiroth's the too tall though, for real. Cause he actually can't air dodge this, look, he can't air dodge. So yeah. Hey Chario, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. Am I jumping forward? Maybe, maybe in place is better. 
Oh, it is better. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> okay, I learned something new. Because I'm jumping into the star spot. You can also, you can also do like, something like this. How you been? Eh, Alright, I've been better. I'm kind of just hanging out. Testing some things. Ready for double down. Really excited to... I missed the major scale. These regionals are not it for me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm just excited to play on the major scale. That's it. Um, how about you? What follow does Ryu have off a forwarder? Sure, I'd be happy to share. Um, so at 0% on DI out, matching air dodge like that, we can do sour repair into a bear, which combos into a hotto on the characters. On Sapphire, we'll be trying to. Oh, that's good. We can try. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Yo, low key though, honestly. 9 to 5, kinda sucky, right? Um, that's why I didn't go today. I was just too tired. I was like, oh, God, right? But yeah, it makes me appreciate school a lot more. So that's for sure. But yeah. At 0%, you can do Fair Bear. Fair Up. Fair, fair Dare is also a certain character. Fair Sour Dare. So you can do like Fair Sour Dare Auto. But okay. Like this. That's actually pretty true. And then you can also do. Is auto turn frame four? It's frame one. So for example, if you notice, like this. Once, it, once this move finishes, I'm mashing shield. Yeah, you you turn around on frame one. The only way to keep you doing this away stance like this is to buffer a tilt away like this. Like this. You have to buffer a tilt. You have to keep buffering tilts. Um, if you keep the buffer system occupied while facing away, you can always face away. For example, these landing bears are away from the opponent, and then Ryu turns around like this. Oops. Oops. Do that. So you're doing a forward tilt away from the opponent. You're buffering a dash back. And guess what? You buffer the dash back away from the opponent like this. So now you're facing away. You press jump while still holding forward. You got this away position. You can do whatever you want. Any landing aerial. Yeah, you're fighting the buffer system. You can do any landing aerial, and you're facing away. Buffer a dash back again. Buffer a jump while holding forward. You're still fighting the buffer, right? Still fighting it. You do another bear into another bear into another bear. Into another bear into another bear into another bear into another bear. Into another bear, into another bear. Like this. Okay. You also keep it occupied off anything facing away. So for example, I think smashes are actually excluded from this. Because it's not working with forward smash. But reverse tilts, like this, you can fight it. Yep. And then reverse landed aerials. So. And dash attack is also included. I guess. But. Yeah, you can fight the buffer system. Kind of cool. So the retreating bears and kind of stuff. It's alright. It's something cool. I don't know. I never really found like a practical use for it. Because, like, I don't know. Take advantage of what the character has. Auto turn. Right? But there's some cool stuff you can do there. Uh, what's up, blue stuff? Good to see you. Okay, cool. I, I don't blame you. Vegas is kind of like a, a city that you can drive through. It's like really, really bad. So, yeah, I don't blame you at all. Um, what was your first bad habit you had when you started playing? For me, it was run up there with Ryu. Pure pain, especially against Sonic. Uh, <laughs> probably anti Shoryukens. I was a huge fan of being like, Raw DP is like the best thing to play ever, right? So I was like, what? The? I think Big Battlefield. I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like, uh, I would spam the heck out of like Shoryu Repa back in Smash 4. I would be like, kind of taking advantage of like people being bad online. Just really, really sucky when I say it out loud. I, I, dude, I was playing Ken in 2016, bro. On God, I was playing Ken. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I would be like, so it'd be like a super high tense like situation in like a four glory match, and I'd be like, you know what? They really want to punish like they really want to punish this, right? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it again. I I'm so bad at it now. I get forward smashes now. Oh yeah, I yeah yeah. So I'd be like this into like this, right? And I was like, little 15 year old me is like, dude, I'm so smart. Because I'm taking advantage of them not being good. 
Uh, for a second, I think that was part of your insane trading measure. No, I don't like that stage. Um, yeah, so I was just like a huge, like, like I'm a spam there. Uh, I, I, I do like anything in a Shoryu, which I think every every Ryu did. It was like, it was, like anything in Shoryu, right? And then because it was frame 1 in 10, which I didn't even know about till like 2018, right? In <laughs> like 2017, I was like, yeah, 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 right? Let's just keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, right? They'll get hit by something, right? And then um, that was probably my first bad habit. Because I think it was also it was just like this like pride thing. Because it was like, um, yo, it was like, uh, <laughs> it was like, oh, I know how to do the input and they don't. Dude, hey, I, I was farming, bro. I farmed. <laughs> if you farm your 20 man library tournaments and then you become number one in your region, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god. Uh, I would just do this all the time. And I was like, I know how to do the input. Little little 16 year old Ike knows how to do the input, right? And if he can do it, that means he should be able to spam it because of pride, right? And then you just kind of keep doing it. And then, you know, just keep doing it. I also like heavy ones into like shield, right? And then they can't hit you here because nobody has command grab in Smash 4. That's a good character. Besides, like, it was good in Smash 4 that command grab. Mm. What if command grab? No. What if. Falcon? Was Falcon even good? I don't even remember. Right. It's like, alright. Anyway, because nobody would punish you for doing this because they just hit your shield like an idiot, right? And then you just jump away. With your stupid frame 5 jump squat. Monkey flip, there you go. That's good. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Um, yeah, Diddy Kong could kill you for this. Because you'd monkey flip you, and then you'd be off stage, and then you'd be dead, right? Um, but yeah, so I remember doing that a lot. Everybody has the, has the nair. Everybody did. Everybody did. Even even Trello probably did. I don't even know, right? Everybody had it. But if you're on a platform, you can't get dash dash right um, So yeah, that was insane. Every, every Ryu had the, had the phase of like, I'm dealing with my jumps, and then I'm going to keep doing this, right? So that was always something that's cool. Um, let's see. Every Ryu had to go through that phase. And then... Any other bad habits? Uh, a lot of, like, like a ledge roll from ledge, right? Because you didn't want to be in the air as, like, a Ryu. But now I'm like, dude, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. I'm just gonna be, like, a hooligan, right? Woo! It's just... Uh, yeah. Guten Morgen, Trade War. Hello. How are you? But, like, why not do that? Why not do ledge roll? I mean, it's good. It's a good option. But, like, you know... The, the, the RPS is always going to be the same. Like, they'll cover this high area, right? To stop you from jumping. Then you roll through it, right? Which is good, because you get the iframes, right? Then they cover the roll, then you can play neutral getup, and you play from the corner, right? And then you play from the corner, and then after you're done, after call it your neutral getup, you jump, because it's unreactable, right? And then, oh, they're back to covering jumps, then you do a roll, right? And then you're done doing a roll, and then they cover the roll, then you do neutral getup, and then they cover neutral getup, and you do an unreactable option, right? Which is either that, or that, or that. Or that, or that, right? Or that, and then you go back over again for your ledge roll, and then you can do mash tilts. You can do ledge roll double roll, right? You can do ledge roll jump roll away back into the corner, or shield react. I'm gonna go back to the ledge because I'm an idiot. Double plank, take two of these, and then go back on the ledge, right? It's a, a ledge is always like a circular, circular reasoning with like a little bit of like you know timing mix up. That's kind of how I've always looked at it. The older I got, so yeah. Um, why not do that? Nair spam? Because <laughs> it's stupid. Anybody can hit this. It's a call out. It's good. Nothing is bad in this game, really. Even like Ganondorf Uppy is not bad on a shield option. But so, you know, use it in moderation. Always. Um, let's see. Any fancy shield break concepts? This is my favorite part of the stream. I get to talk about stupid things that'll never work in bracket but are always really fun. So, let's see. So, you got. We're gonna have your hold shield, okay? And mash a jump out of shield. Okay? So let's put her down there. So she is mashing jump, right? Mashing jump. Mashing jump. Right? See? Anyway. Um So. Fancy shield breaking drinks, okay? Funnily enough, okay. This is something that I haven't even done yet, but I really want to hit sometime, which is uh, this, okay. If you do a drop down focus on the plat, you get a descending dragon, guaranteed. So it's like plus eight or something stupid. You can just like pop shields. So it's all about like the frame advantage, right? If you're super plus, the shield breaks are probably gonna be popped, right? 
So for example, if we show like numbers real quick, we'll show some numbers. It takes a lot of like knowing numbers, but <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of like this will never happen in game because nobody shields under a platform. If you use when is the last time you've been on a platform under a platform and somebody shields on the platform and you shield? That doesn't happen. You don't ever shield under a platform, so it's never gonna hit. But it's really funny. So, um, here's the thing, right? So frame advantage, right? Woo, right? Minus eight. Okay. So we're gonna show some frame advantage numbers, right? So this. Okay, let's move them over. It's me, I play Fox. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, that's minus eight or so, right? With the dash, right? That's cool, right? You do it from the air, you don't go through the dash animation, you cancel it through the So you can be like plus seven, like that. Okay, so that's cool, now you're plus seven, right? How do you pop the shield with a plus seven move, right? Well, you have some moves that when special canceled are like plus because you cancel the end lag of the attack. You cancel, yeah, so for example, this raw is minus 19, right? Turn the game down a little? Yeah, sure, not a problem. Also, thank you so much for the sub. Um, let me turn this down. Where is game audio? Right here. How's that? Hopefully that's better. Um, taking views away from ignition? Hey, bro, what has Ned done for the past three years? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway. I love Ned. We love Ned. We love Ned. He beat me on Saturday. We love Ned. We love, we love Ned. Um, okay, so let's talk, okay? So I, I talked about this, right? It can be up anywhere from plus zero to plus seven, right? So that's plus three. That's minus. So if you, if you did the dash, you're still minus. That's plus three. That's still plus three. You want like plus four. Plus four is a golden number. Plus eight, right? Plus three. <laughs> Plus five. That's the number you want, right? Joe was on stream. Oh, what's top eight? I kind of tell me what top eight is. Um, spacing is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can like mix their shield and do like something like that, right? Plus five. That's like a number you want. Yeah, we're going over this again. It's okay. It's okay. I know you made your matchup notes. It's alright. Just let me talk about this. Anyway, okay. So, <laughs> um, so that's the thing, right? That's like a number, right? That's a number you need to be aware of. Another number you need to be aware of is canceling on shield. So, for example. Versus Joe, loser's semis. Who's in grands? Who's in grands and who's in loser's finals? Cyber losers, a tad of grands? Where's Ice Knight? Ice Knight lost to Cyber? I'm not gonna talk bad. Where's Ice Knight though? That's like, I gotta know. Cause I need to know if he had his, his, his like bad run after a good run. You know what I mean? You're in the waiting room? What are you up for? Lost to Cyberverse? That makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. That makes sense. I was talking to him because he's like, Hey, Iken, I just had my really good breakout run. What do I do now? I'm like, you gotta let it happen, right? Anyway. Um, doubled in my champagne. Shut up. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Okay, 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 okay. So, back to the numbers, okay? Shoto's and FGC, or I guess Ryu, Ken, and Terry, all have this thing where if they hit, a, if they hit something, they can cancel, right? Special canceling. Duh, we've all seen that, right? They do this, the Dantel Fireball, right? What people don't know is that canceling moves on the block actually turns it from a minus move to a plus move because you're canceling it into the special. So for example, um, this hard up tilt is minus 19, right? But if you look at the cancel frames on block beforehand, we can see something cool. For example, you can see I hit this hard up tilt, right? And focus is a frame one move, frame one armor, frame one. So we're gonna cancel into focus and count the frames from there, right? So we hit this, this is all hit lag, this is all hit lag. Once the move's hit lag is done, right? You go into this little, uh, that's frame one of focus, right? No, my old my old controller is, it's my spare controller now. It's over behind you, I can show you actually. But it's, uh, I, use my, I use my second one now, the second one. Um, so this is frame one of focus. And Min Min is buffering jump. Frame two, frame three, frame four, frame five, frame six, frame seven, frame eight, frame nine, frame 10, frame 11. If this is right on, f oh wait, I didn't hit her. Frame, oh, 12, there you go, I did it right, okay. So hold on, watch this, we'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ryu is plus 11 on hard up tilt in particular. And now frame 12, Min Min starts her jump. One, two, three, Min Min's down here, right? So you are plus 11 on special cancel for a hard up tilt, right? 
Other move, every single move has its own special variation. For example, uh, hard down tilt, we can see. Canceling into focus. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus seven, right? Plus seven before mid moon jumps, right? Another thing is your uh, every other every cancelable move. The big one you want to be aware of is down smash. Frame five startup. And cancels into focus at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And now she can jump on 12, right? And another one is proximity forward tilt, frame 4. Cancel into focus. You'll see this is a cool one because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now she can jump on 7, right? Every move has a different special cancelable use. And it's somewhere around there on the internet. But the main ones you need to be knowing is prox tilt is plus 4. Plus, okay, sorry, frame 4 plus 6 on shield. Down smash is frame 5 plus 11 on shield. So, then you're going all over all this, right? When you cancel onto something, right, you can you have to go into a special. So for example, hard up tilt we've seen is plus 11, and hado is frame 12. So if Minmin buffers anything out of shield, she gets hit by that hado, okay? But if I go into something like... But it's plus 11, as in she can't release her shield until 11. If I do something like this, that's a true block string. She has to hold that, okay? Same idea goes for that, because that's plus 7. Same idea goes for that, because that's plus 7. Same idea goes for this, because that's plus, plus 11, right? Now, these plus 7 moves, these plus 6, plus 7 moves, you can only go into Shoryuki, right? But for plus, like, higher moves, like 11, you can actually go into Tatsu, and that also works. Like this, because Tatsu's frame 8, right? Taking advantage of the plus frames, right? Anything that's frame 11 or faster, you can cancel into. Mainly Tatsu or Shoryu. Um, <laughs> what's up, Scruple? Thank you so much. Yeah. So you'll see where this gets really interesting, is that this, all of this stuff is free block pressure. She has to hold that, right? So now we're doing free block pressure stuff. Okay, what can you get off of? Well, if you have enough shield damage prior on, like say from a fireball or from that little focus I was showing you before, you can cancel that plus five focus into that plus six prox tilt or plus 11 down smash, cancel that into a guaranteed shuriken or tatsu, and that's a guaranteed shield break if, for you, if the opponent is shielding with the combo starter. For example, Minmin is buffering jump, right? If I do this normal focus, it all wins, right? Because that's minus eight, right? But this one is plus five. Now you're plus five, you go into this, because that's frame four, and that's plus six itself, so you go into Shoryu. So if Minmin shields the wrong way, she gets guaranteed shield break. <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Now, is it practical? Eh, right? If you're shielding, sure, right? But not many people are shielding versus you because they're kind of trying to reposition themselves and you're playing the, you're playing the fireball game, right? You're doing all this, right? You're doing, you're doing these, you're doing this, you're doing these, right? So it's not going to happen crazy often, but there are setups, right? Not just from focus, but also from fireball. For example, that one works too, right? Down smash Tatsu is a guaranteed poke. Shaku keeps unlocking the shield for long enough that you can get the down smash Tatsu and all this stuff, right? Another one that I've seen before, we saw that this from platforms is really, really safe, right? So safe and so that you can do like that, and that's a guaranteed poke, right? Because there's a one frame gap. 11, 12, right? Or again, that one's a good one. Or again, I don't know how good this is. That's not that good. Um, but yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll leave VODs up. Yeah, for two weeks. I do download all my VODs, but yeah. Um, that's all ground moves, though. Let's talk about aerials, because aerials are really, really fun, okay? So I know the numbers off the top of my head, but I'll sh I don't need to show them. Nair is 4, forward air is 5, back air is 6, up air is 4 to 5, and down air is 6, right? All full hop. If you take one frame away for short sure hop mechanic, you get 5. You get you get 3, 5, 4, 4, and 5, right? That's a lot of information, right? But the main thing is, on fully unstaled back air and fully unstaled down air from a full hop, is also a guarantee damage, right? It's also guaranteed. And this one is actually a little bit more accessible because, say, back air shore you, you can do that on a platform, right? And that guaranteed hits, right? And if it hits anyway, well, guess what? You cancel into shore you, they're gone away, they can't punish you, right? So, a lot, right? A lot. Um, so something like, for example, this also works, right? <laughs> you can mark a platform with fireball and then, you know, do that, right? 
But if you're shooting the Shaku, that's your fault. That's your fault. That's not my fault. That's your fault. You gotta reposition or hit that thing. And then I gotta play around what you do to get hit you instead of hit your shield and kill you at 50, right? So, you'll notice the short hop bear is plus 5. So Mimi has a frame to jump, right? She gets caught in that frame. If she inputs anything out of shield, because there's no frame one out of shield option besides little max B, she gets hit and she dies, right? Um, so that's cool, right? Cool. Anyway, um, and you can do this with not just the Shoryu stuff, but the Fireball stuff. For example, Bear is frame 6, right? And Tatsu is frame 2. And since Jump Squat and Spot Dodge both come out in frame 3, right? That'll hit anything that isn't a hold shield. Right? Or that will hit anything that isn't a hold shield. Or that will hit anything that's not a hold shield. Or this will cover short hop if they do a smash and area. Okay. There's a lot you can do. Okay. There's a lot you can do. Um, it's fun. It's cool to know. Will it ever happen? Not so much. You'll get a lot more usually of this, right? They're committed to holding block and then you kill them for it, right? Or they're committed to jumping away and you catch them with an up air, right? But it's all read dependent CQC, right? Which is kind of in Ryu's favor. Either you act to neutral or he wins, right? So he's never really losing unless you're playing like a frame three out of your Another one is this. Sour Fair does a lot of shield damage. Sour Fair is also plus 5 on cancel. Shoryu is frame 6. She buffers anything. She gets hit, right? What if she holds shield, right? What happens if she holds shield? Well, if she holds shield, she takes this much shield damage. <laughs> she gets guaranteed popped on a full hop. Or she gets... Or she gets poked. Or she gets... What? Does leave. There you go. Or she gets poked on the ground. Oops, sorry. Yeah, if this stuff is stale, it's not going to be as reliable. That's a lot of shield damage. Well, for example, let's see. You can do... Like... This is really hard to reposition because you use on the top. Right? Like that, right? Barely, right? So you need the full hop, right? Um... Do I ever use Beerus all the time, dude? Because that little, this little Hado stuff is all you have, right? If you're off stage, you should be dead, right? You can do like a recovering, recover, recover, Hado out, and then high Tatsu, or like a Hado out, jump air dodge. Your opponent should be killing you off stage, right? That's where Ryu's kind of most vulnerable. But um, it's a weakness of the character that, you know, it's just a weakness, right? Pyramenter has a weakness too, I think, right? <laughs> So yeah. Hi Kodak, welcome to the chat. I'm just kind of talking about block pressure. Somebody asked it. Yeah. These are all guaranteed stuff, but don't go starting fishing for it, right? Keep in mind you're still you still got your tilts, right? You still got your tap tilt grab, right? You still got your. Ah, he's not that scary. He's alright. Your classic mid tier bro. <laughs> he just throws stuff at you, right? I don't know. Tears or whatever, man. Who cares about it? Did I come to this community to talk about tears? If I wanted to come to this community to talk about tears, I would have been become a politician, right? <laughs> no one's gonna get that joke. It's okay. Um, anyway. Uh, Bear to Upbeat, Drop on their shield. Yeah, I actually made a really old Ronaldino soccer meme about Bear Upbeat on somebody's shield, and I was like, that's cool, right? I guess. Um, it was over COVID. We were all doing funny stuff. Um, but yeah. Like, you can kind of see... This is something I still want to do, right? This little like, riding with it, you just jump, right? Like that. But yeah, there's a lot of info. I don't know. I think, but although this is all really, really cool, you gotta know when to do it, right? And when's really, really cool, right? So, yeah. Like when, when should you? Because if if you hold shield, right, you're, you're tanking, right? This, and that can be easily punished, right? It's minus 60, right? You have 60 frames to do it. Um, so it hit me, okay? Yeah, Firefox does break shield. Air break shield. Can I combo off that? I don't know. I never really cared to lab it. Let's see. I could lab shield break combos. <laughs> I guess. That's kind of fun. 
Usually you're gonna go into like upper ladders or like an airplanes. Eight extra shield damage, yeah. No, yeah, dude, that character is good. Very, very good character. Requirements for an air foot school. I don't know what you mean. Violent. Ah, <sighs> no idea. <laughs> no idea. Um, but it is cool, probably. There's <laughs> probably some mechanic to it. I kind of just assumed if you could, if they weren't like like an idol, what factors to footstool? God. And it's probably smash logic. Probably not flying too fast. I think. I would guess that's the reason. That's like my guess in Smash Factor terms. That probably makes sense, right? Yeah, like default air enemy. Yeah, but but then hold on, that doesn't make sense because how do you footstool them out of Shaku? Because they're not in their default air animation. They get footstooled down. For example, I think it's like something like this. For example, for example, I did not save state. Like this, um, you can footstool them out of this. Like not even after the hit, but before like the combo. Yeah, Legacy, I've been doing a lot of thinking about Mario, because um, that Mario Sam T. Silver is one of the best Mario in the world, right? And we are actually four and four in set counts for 2022. Um, oh, he's mashing. Oh, he's mashing, hold on. I'm gonna parry all three of these kicks, watch. Hold on, I'll parry him, I'll parry him. All right, watch, ready? No, I will not. This the most awkward timing jab ever. Hold on, wait. No, okay. Okay, she wins, mashing wins. Mashing always wins. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, I think a lot about Mario. But um, the big thing is, you gotta respect that he has more control than you do. Which is such a hard thing to swallow. <laughs> but, he has more control, but you win in that stubbiness department. Because your moves are less stubby than his, right? He has a better out of shield, better air movement, and better recovery. But you have better damage output, CQC, and your moves usually beat hits. So it's like, a, I feel like it's not a terrible matchup. It's kind of just like something that you have to be aware of. And if you're an idiot, he'll kill you for it. And I'm an idiot quite a bit. So... And we're one and two in Chicago, so like it makes sense the fact that we know each other really, really well. But yeah, so be aware of like that. Uh, don't hit a shield mindlessly because you will get upbeat. In fact, I think hitting a shield with space moves is probably the best way to play the matchup, kind of like a sweep. Um, that's probably kind of the play. But you're playing without a lot of air drift. So you gotta kind of be aware of the fact that you know you're gonna be trying to you know preemptively spacing yourself. Uh, don't focus out of downer and try to land, right? Go to ledge almost every single time when you're trying to land, because it's never ever worth it. And he can't really kill you off of it. Oh my god, stop mashing. Why is he mashing? Okay, hold on. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I'll parry fine. This is so difficult. Okay, whatever. Anyway, that's like a big idea. Just like, don't be an idiot uh, when recovering either, because you can kind of just like struggle and get caped and flooded and die, right? 
like Tatsu to ledge is never worth it ever, right? And going low is just to early up B is better because you don't want to go too low and get footstooled, right? It's a very, very footsie based matchup. Whoever commits first usually dies. Um, sure, definitely. Uh, Smash question. Sure, Justin, what's going on?